Watch out for these trucking scams, part two. This is a classic scam by trucking companies. What they do is they entice you with something juicy. Like, for instance, they will put an ad in the paper saying that they're looking for three drivers for a dedicated account. You apply to the company, and then afterwards you get there, you're in orientation, and then all of a sudden someone comes up to you and says, oh, I'm afraid those positions aren't available anymore, or uh, the customer canceled those, or something to that effect. But she do have mm -hmm. she do have another one. Trucking scams part two. Okay. Watch out for these trucking scams part two. This is a classic scam by trucking companies. What they do is they entice you with something juicy. Like for instance, they will put an ad in the paper saying that they're looking for three drivers for a dedicated account. You apply to the company and then afterwards you get there, you're in orientation and then all of a sudden someone comes up to you and says, oh, I'm afraid those positions aren't available anymore or uh, the customer canceled those or something to that effect. And they that's not a scam. No, that's not. How that's, is that a scam? That's no, not, that's they, not do, a scam. They, they do that all the time. You, yeah, because you talk yeah, about that. You talk yeah, about I, that. I, I, so. I talk. Yeah, exactly. I, I talk about that all the time. That's that's not a scam. That's mm -mm, that's not. not that's not a scam. That's practice. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice. We talking about practice, man. <laughs> we talking about practice. Right. That's 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 practice. That's they they. You call a recruiter, recruiter gets you, gets you all the information, yada, 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 and you say, okay, I'm set for, you know, I'm set for this account or that account or whatever the case. You get the orientation and they, you know, they, they say in orientation, oh, well, that Kroger account is not available because you're not in that area. That's not a, that's not a scam. No. Nope. If I did now, the recruiter told me that the Kroger account is available, but yet I find out that it's not available because I'm not in that zip code or in that 50 mile radius. Right. So how is that a scan? That's that's let's 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 listen in. Say, okay. hey, but we have some over the road positions if you'd like those. And that is called the classic bait and switch. What they do is they lure you in with something that will entice you to apply for the company. And then they will switch it up on you by saying it's no longer available. The customer has canceled it or they got rid of they got rid of two lanes. So now it's no longer available. Anyway, this is something that you pretty much can't avoid. To be honest, there is no way around this scam. And the only way you. Yes, it is. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yes, it is. There's there's plenty of ways to avoid that. Have the mm -hmm. have the recruiter be honest with you when you talk to him. For starters, mm -hmm. that's 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 how you get around that. Have the recruiter be honest with you when you talk to him in the beginning. Okay, so is that dedicated lane available for me in my area? Yes or no? Uh. Yes or no? Uh, yes or no? Well, right. well, it's 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 available for some air. That's all I need to know. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. That. And that's that. Mm -hmm. That's how you can get a. That's how you can get around that. That 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 bait and switch. What you talking about? That uh, again, like I said, that's practice. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice. We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> We're talking about practice. That ain't that new. That that's nothing new. That's 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 been practiced since the dawn of trucking. Uh the dawn of trucking. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing new. Oh, you've been scammed is when you're actually at the company and you're in orientation. So here is some here's some tips on what you can do to, I guess, alleviate the scam in a way, mm -hmm. because you really just can't get around it. I mean, you, you, you really just can't. Um, when you're talking to a recruiter, make sure you talk to that recruiter in writing. Stop using the phone when you talk huh? to recruiters. Do texting. Huh? What? 
Why does that? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can finish. Let, let her finish. Let her finish. Emails, chatting, and then record the chats. That way, if you get to the company and they try to switch it up on you and you decide that you don't want to stay there because they're not giving you the position that they promised, then you will have all of this stuff in writing. Now, why should you have this stuff in writing? Well, because many companies, when you leave orientation, they'll put that on your DAC report. Uh, nope. Quit or uh, Okay, okay, stop. What? No, no. When you leave, they no. put it on your DAC no. report. Hey, no, they no, don't. no, they don't. No, that, what you talking about? Wait a minute. Is this the same one that's supposed to be in trucking for over 20 years? Yes. They put on your DAC report if you abandon their equipment. They put on your DAC report if you um, if you refuse the drug test. Yeah, that too. But if you mm -hmm. leave if you leave the orientation on your own free will, why would they put that on your DAC report? They don't do that at all. They don't they they don't put that on your DAC report. Maybe it's you, happened to her. I don't I, know. I, I, hey, you know, everybody has their own experience with trucking companies. Never I mean, when you go <laughs> when when you go to take the drug test, and I have talked to people that, that have confirmed this, when you sign in to take the drug test. That's when it's going to be recorded to the C FMCSA's clearinghouse. Yeah. If you uh, if you leave before taking the drug test after you signed in. Right. OK. Now, orientation. I mean, you get to the company after you already talked to the recruiter and the recruiter already said, well, we got this position for you, yada, yada, yada. But then when you get to the orientation and they'll come and tell you, oh, well, we only got over the road available. Oh, OK, well, I don't want that. Thank you. Please come again. How, how is that going to be put on your DAC report? That, it's not. You that, know how many people I don't see walk out of orientation? Right. Right. So what are they going to put on your DAC report? Uh. Well, they didn't want the position because it's over the road. That's why they left. The only thing, the only thing that shows up is um on your FMCSA scores. It will show that you took a drug test for that company, whether you stayed or not. Exactly. They still have to count it as credit. As they as have to, yeah. They they have to. Employment. Right. They have to. They they have to put that in for the C uh for the clearinghouse. Right. And then and and then she over here talking about go back and forth in emails and. Don't talk on the phone. You don't have to do who, all that. Who, who, who does all of that? I mean, when I chat, I'm, I mean, the, the initial meeting, yeah, you know, we'll chat over the over email, we'll chat over messenger, we'll chat yeah, over DM. when they're getting all your stuff together, right. they start sending you text messages. Right, but then we will emails. talk. We we will talk over the phone. Mm-hmm. And even and even with that, even if they even if the recruiter do say, hey, you know, that Kroger, you know, that Kroger uh, position is the one you want. That Kroger position is the one that I want, the one that I'm going to get. And even if I even take that to the, the, the person that's going to assign me my, you know, either I'm over the road, Kroger or whatever, they still going to be like, and. We we don't have Kroger for you. We got over the road. You want that? No? Okay, thank you. She got a few more. Hold on. Orientation okay. or was let go or something to that effect. I'm really not uh, sure. I really have to go back and check. But I do know that they can put on there something dealing with the fact that you did not complete orientation or that you quit orientation. So you can say to them, listen, I'm not going to stay here because you're not going to give me what I promised. And I would appreciate it if you would not put anything on my DAC report concerning this orientation experience, because I have a lot of documentation stating in writing that I was told that this was supposed to be a dedicated hire. And you just go from there. And then, of course, you check your DAC report uh, off and on to make sure that nothing was placed on there. And <sighs> trucking scams part two. <laughs> I'm confused. Ah, trucking scams part two. I mean, I'm confused. I mean, How is that a scam? I, I, I don't think that's a scam. I, I really don't. I mean, again, like I said, it's. Is practice. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? Can, can I 
We talking about practice, man. <laughs> we talking about practice. And and trucking companies been doing that for a long time. This like this this like recruiters be fluffing and bubbing and not being honest uh about they're, the they're business. never honest. Yeah, never. Uh, yeah, that's that's not that's that's nothing new, uh our favorite TikToker. I'm just saying. It's right. Nothing, nothing new. Watch out for these trucking scams, part two. This is a classic scam by trucking companies. What they do is they entice you with something juicy. Like for instance, they will put an ad in the paper saying that they're looking for three drivers for a dedicated account. You apply to the company and then afterwards you get there, you're in orientation and then all of a sudden someone comes up to you and says, oh, I'm afraid those positions aren't available anymore or uh, the customer canceled those or something to that effect.